All right, guys, so this is a get ready with me video. Um, it's going to be very basic, to the point, very soft, natural, and everyday girl can do something like that. So it's not going to be a super beat kind of look. Right here, I'm doing a corrector. It's the, I believe, the Pro Conceal Corrector from LA Girls, one of my favorite. I'm just going to go ahead and put it under the eyes and in other areas where I have a little bit of darkness or hyperpigmentation. Just going to help to kind of neutralize and balance the skin. So when it's time for me to put on my concealer and my foundation or powder, I don't turn a little bit of gray because of the darkness. Next, I'm using a, I believe they call it a Sculpt and Highlight from NYX. It's their duo concealer. Um, I'm trying it out for the first time, so I'm trying to see if I like it. And I'm just using my beauty blender and blending that in. Yeah, blending that in. I'm using a pounce kind of technique. That's going to help to soften and blend everything into the skin. Now I'm using a powder that's a bit darker than my skin tone. Um, it's more on the red side, rosy side. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in areas when I, where I kind of want to um, shrink the face a little bit. It's helping the bronze add a little bit of color into my skin. I didn't wear any foundation, liquid foundation under. Usually every day I do something like this. I just use powder and conceal. So as you can see, my skin is warming up nicely. There we go. And I'm just blending. Next, I believe I'm gonna do some concealer and I'm gonna guess and say that that NYX didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I'm going back to my favorite concealer from MAC. It's the Pull On With Concealer. And I think I'm using an NC45. NC45 to highlight and conceal under the eyes. So I'm using my Beauty Blender again. And I'm just softening those areas. And blending and sculpting and highlighting and all that good stuff. Yes. So... You see what I mean by reverse contouring? So, because I applied the darker powder now and I'm highlighting, I don't have to go back in and do any extra sculpting because it's happening right now. You know, I see that. I'm just pouncing that into my skin, blending and softening all the edges. I blend, 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 blend as much as you can. You could never go wrong with blending. Alrighty, I believe that I already put some of the Sasha Buttercup um, under my eyes to kind of set in the concealed spots. And now I'm just adding some soft colors on my eyes. I think I'm using a bronzer actually. I'm using a bronzer on my eyes to add a little bit of um, rosiness. So I'm sculpting kind of the same concept as my face. I'm doing it on my eyes, highlight contour. Because I'm going for more of a soft everyday neutral you know beat but not so beat kind of look and I'm just adding the color I'm adding 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 and here and then I'm taking another brush and I'm softening the look because I don't want it to be too harsh again this is a very simple neutral look it is not a super beat by any means necessary. And for you guys that are watching this video that know me, you know I like looking like a dog. But there are times and occasions where I just want to keep it simple. So right here I'm just sculpting on my eyes. And that's the area where I'm going to highlight. Just cutting the crease a little bit. Just like so. My eyes are pretty big so very easy for me to do something like this. And I'm just pressing and patting. I think I'm using an NYX um, primer on my eyes. It's their shadow base. I'm using that and sculpting the eyes. And then I'm going to go in with a eyeshadow that's very muted. And we're going to go ahead and set that shadow base down on the lid. In a pattern motion this helps to build color and coverage so you just want to pat it in rather than do a swipe just 
just like so. Okay. Alright. So I'm going in with a brush, the same brush, and I'm softening that look. I believe the brush that I'm using is the 224 from MAC. It's made with natural hair, so it gives a really nice, soft, blended look when you use that brush. Just like that. And I'm just smoothing out and softening the edges. Adding a little bit more color. There we go. Alright. I already off camera put on my um, lashes and I add my liner. So right here I'm just swiping away the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. In the areas where I kind of want to highlight the powder. And then I'm taking a brush and I am softening all the edges of my makeup. So everything looks well blended. So I'm just going over everything, including the highlighted spots, contour, everything. And just softening those lines. Pounce in motion again, guys. Technique is everything. Just like so. Alrighty. Forgive me, I keep licking my lips because my lips get very dry sometimes. So, yeah. I think I used um, a blush that I got from my birthday gift from Sephora. It's the Tarte Blush. Um, I love that color, but sometimes it can appear a little bit washed out on the skin, especially with my my um, skin tone. So I'm warming it up with Raisin, one of my favorite blushes from MAC. And I think I am also using a bronzy tone as well. I like to cocktail my blushes a lot. So sometimes I'm using like two to three different blushes on my face. I'm listening to Soka, guys. <laughs> All right. Next up we have our cream highlighter. So I am more of a glowy kind of girl rather than a shimmery kind of girl. I like my skin to glow. I don't really do all that glittery stuff. It's just not for me. So I'm using a cream highlighter. And I think this is a cream highlighter from MAC. I am not sure of the name, but it's a cream one. It might be bronze or gold or something like that. You can see that nice slight glow that I get, and I'm going back in with that brush again, soften up the edges. Next up, I believe I'm going to use yes, girl. I'm using a very finely milled highlighter powder right over top of that cream highlighter, and it's just gonna make and draw a little bit more light to my face. So you see what I mean by a subtle glow and not a shimmer? That's what I like. I like to make my skin look like the healthiest skin walking in the streets of New York, baby. Alright. So I think I am, here we go, yeah, yeah. So I am further sculpting out my cheekbones. A little bit prouder. And this is just going to slim my face down a little bit more. Since it's winter time, I got a little chubby, so yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm softening that again. Let's see what's up next, guys. Bottom lashes. I don't go anywhere without mascara on my bottom lashes. I love my bottom lashes. So I have to wear bottom lash mascara all the time. And I'm just using a basic black. Mascara. And my bottom lashes are pretty long, so I love wearing mascara on my bottom lashes. Like, I absolutely love it. I think I fell in love with, like, doing my videos. I fell in love with doing my makeup with a mirror held in my hand rather than... The norm for me is usually using, like, a really big um, mirror that's against my wall to do my makeup. But this way, I kind of like it. So I'm adding a little bit of highlight right in the inner corner of my eye just for a little extra pop you know misting my face 
Yes, girl, Mac Fix Plus. I can't go anywhere without it. I'm prepping the lips now for some lipstick. We're gonna line the lips first. I think I'm using Chestnut from Mac. It's brown. Black girl's best friend. We're just gonna sculpt out the lip. The lip liner, you just wanna trace it naturally. It's very simple. Just trace the natural lip. Alright, there we go. Then I'm gonna press my lips in together and that's gonna help to blend. Add another liquid liner. This color I absolutely love. It reminds me of Ruby Roo, one of my favorite red lipsticks. So you put it on, it's a liquid. I'm just pressing and blending that in with my lip liner. Letting it dry. Once it dries down, it gets a little bit deeper and it looks exactly like Ruby Roo. I think it's called Chateau M. It's a limited edition for MAC. Go back in with that pencil, blend a little bit more. Press and pounce my lips. And that's going to help with blending. Yes, girl. See that? Nice, neutral, everyday, very quick and easy, girl. Look. Love that. There is up next. Stay tuned, guys. All right. I'm just removing my headband. We're going to add a little bit of edge control on my edges. My hair is so dry. So dry. Oh, forgive that spot. I'm like literally losing my hair on that side. It's so thin. All that leaf. <laughs> so we're gonna brush that edge control in on both sides. I don't like using a whole lot because sometimes I get it like clumpy. So I use very little edge control. I probably should have mixed a little water in there, but whatever. And then we're gonna remove our rods. Just like so. This is probably my favorite size rods because these get like not too big but not too small um, curls in the hair. So I love this one, the orange rods. So I'm going to go ahead and untangle in no particular way, just loosen some of those curls. I'm so impatient with things, so I'm just like pulling and When it comes to natural hair, you kind of want to have a little bit more patience because you don't want freeziness. But yeah, I gotta work on that. <laughs> I'm pulling the hair apart just like so. And then, bam! I'm gonna go ahead and add some hairpins just to keep some of that hair up. And this is the final result. I love this look, guys. Love it a lot. This is the easiest way to get ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time. See you guys later. Stay fabulous. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos. Alrighty, guys. Bye. Thank you.